Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to add text, import new titles, and customize them all inside Final Cut Pro. One of the awesome things about Final Cut Pro is that not only are there tons of built-in titles, you can also customize them. So whether you want to create a simple title, add a location or timestamp, and include dialogue and subtitles, you can do it all inside Final Cut Pro. Let's start with simply adding a basic text. Inside Final Cut Pro, go up to your Titles menu in the top left. You should see a list of titles and generators. We're going to focus on titles today. While there's a long list, you can select from the menu on the left whether you want 3D ready, 360 ready, or a title that builds in and out. For now, let's search for basic title in the search bar. With Final Cut Pro's drag and drop feature, let's pull this title onto our timeline. Using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl T, you can also add a basic title to your timeline. Notice how our title was shown up as a purple layer. In Final Cut Pro, purple denotes a title layer. Now let's edit the text by going up to the inspector panel in the top right and selecting the text inspector. By typing in this text box, we can change the text we want to show on screen. Down below the text box, we have a number of other options we can adjust to customize our text, much like the options you'd have in Microsoft Word or any other text editor. From here, we can change the font, the size, and the color. You can also reposition the text by simply dragging the text around the screen. When moving your text around the screen, one pro tip is to use the safe zones. You can access this by going to View and scrolling down to Show Title Action Safe Zones. This creates a border showing where it's safe to place your title. To remove the Safe Zones border, simply go back up to View and uncheck the Show Title Action Safe Zones. So now you know the basics for editing text, here are some tips to make your text stand out and let's start with adding a background. Going back up to our Titles and Generators sidebar, we're going to go into the Generators menu and search for Custom. Drag and drop the Custom Generator onto your timeline under your title layer. Before we change the color, let's set this as a background just to our text by cropping the shape. We can do this by going to the Video Inspector, scrolling down to Crop, and adjusting as necessary. By going up to the Generators Inspector, we can now change the color of the background. I'd suggest choosing contrasting colors between your text and your background. I'm going to stick with the white text, and as you can see, I've changed my background to a dark purple to ensure my text stands out from our real background. We can also change how long the text appears on screen by increasing or decreasing the length of the title layer. You can do this by hovering over the end of the layer and dragging to the left or the right. Another tip is that if you've added a background like we have here, ensure your background is at the same length too. Now you know how to add a basic text, Final Cut Pro offers a number of titles. By going back up to our Titles menu and scrolling through the list, you can preview what each title looks like by scanning the title with your mouse. Lower thirds are very popular because they're clean and look professional while providing additional information to the viewer. They're often used to introduce a guest because it has one line for their name and another for their company or location. Just like any other title, you can drag and drop onto the timeline. Let's search for and add a basic lower third to our timeline by dragging and dropping. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shift Control t to add a basic lower third. Individual lines of text can be edited separately. To change the text, select the text and the text box should open up in the Text Inspector panel.
Another tip is that you can change the color of any letter or word by highlighting it in the text inspector panel and changing the face color. Or you can just change the color of the whole text. So now you know how to add a basic text and a lower third title. What about more advanced and animated titles? Final Cut Pro offers a number of animated titles, but if you're looking for more, check out Motion Array for some awesome and modern titles to make your videos really stand out. I'm going to show you how to import this title into Final Cut Pro from the Clean Titles Pack. Once you've downloaded the folder from Motion Array, copy the folder and paste it into your Motion Templates and Titles folder. Once you've pasted your folder in there, close and reopen Final Cut Pro. You should now see the Clean Titles Pack in your Titles menu. Once you've selected your title, simply drag and drop onto your timeline as you would any other title. Now you can go up to the inspector panel in the top right and customize it to match your style. And there you have it. You've just learned how to add text and titles inside Final Cut Pro. And you've also learned how to import new titles and customize them to match your unique style. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And feel free to check out all the awesome Final Cut Pro text templates and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.